As Benjamin Franklin once said, lost time is never found again. Time, my friends, is the most valuable asset we have. It's the one thing we can't buy more of, can't borrow, can't steal. It's the equalizer among us all. Each day every human on this planet is allotted the same 24 hours, no more, no less. Time is a precious commodity, but how often do we let it slip through our fingers like sand in an hourglass? We squander it on things that don't matter, people who don't appreciate us, and activities that bring us no joy. We often forget that every moment is a gift, a unique opportunity that will never come again. Let's put things into perspective. The average person has around 692,040 hours in their lifetime. That seems like a lot, right? But when you break it down, you might be surprised. A significant portion of our time is spent on necessary, but mundane tasks. We spend approximately a third of our lives sleeping, which already takes away a big chunk of those hours. Add in the time we spend eating, commuting and doing chores, and suddenly, that big number doesn't seem so large anymore. Time is like a river, it keeps flowing, never stopping, never waiting. We can't hold it, can't save it for later, we can only use it here and now. And how we use it, how we choose to spend each moment, ultimately defines us. It shapes our lives, our experiences, our memories. Time is the silent, invisible currency of life. And like any currency, it's not about how much you have, but how you use it. Are you spending it wisely or wasting it frivolously? Are you investing it in things and people that enrich your life? Or are you throwing it away on things that leave you empty and unfulfilled? Time is the only resource we can't get back. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So let's make every moment count. Let's unlock the true value of time. Ever wondered how much your wasted time costs you? Think about it. How much of your day is spent on activities that don't serve any real purpose or contribute to your growth? more than you'd like to admit, right? Let's start with a fact that might surprise you. The average person spends around two hours per day on social media. That might not sound like a lot, but when you add it all up, it's a staggering five years and four months over a lifetime. Five years and four months spent scrolling through feeds, watching videos, and clicking on links that, more often than not, add little to no value to our lives. But it's not just about social media. Think about all the time spent watching TV, playing video games, or just mindlessly surfing the internet. All those hours, days, and years, lost to activities that offer temporary amusement, but rarely contribute to our long-term goals and happiness. Now, imagine if we could reclaim even a fraction of that time, and put it to better use. Imagine if we spent that time learning a new skill, reading a book, exercising, or even just spending quality time with our loved ones. You see, time is a currency, the most valuable currency we have. Unlike money, we can't earn more time, we can't save it, and we can't borrow it. We all get the same 24 hours in a day, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. So when we waste time, we're not just losing hours, we're losing opportunities. Opportunities for growth, for learning, for creating, for experiencing, we're losing pieces of our lives that we can never get back. And it's not just about the big things, the little moments matter too. The five minutes spent daydreaming instead of focusing on your work, the half hour spent scrolling through your phone instead of going for a walk, each wasted moment is a lost opportunity. So next time you find yourself mindlessly scrolling through your phone or binge watching a TV show, ask yourself, is this the best use of my time? Is this contributing to my growth? my happiness, my life. Every minute wasted is a minute you'll never get back, so make sure you're spending yours wisely. So, how can we make the most of our time? Let's dive right into it. The first step is setting clear and achievable goals. Goals are like a compass. They provide direction and keep us focused. They remind us of what we want to achieve and why it's important. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So once you've set your goals, Break them down into manageable tasks and set a timeline for each one. Next, we need to prioritize these tasks. Not all tasks are created equal. Some are vital to our goals, while others, not so much. Prioritizing helps us focus on what's really important and prevents us from getting overwhelmed with a mountain of tasks. A helpful method is the Eisenhower box. 
dividing tasks into four categories, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. Now let's talk about distractions. In our connected world, distractions are everywhere. The ping of a message, the allure of social media, the noise of the world around us, all competing for our attention. It's crucial to eliminate or at least reduce these distractions. You might want to try a digital detox or simply switch off notifications during work hours. So what are the benefits of good time management? Well, for one, it increases productivity. When we're organized and focused, we can get more done in less time. It also reduces stress. Knowing what needs to be done and having a plan to do it can help to alleviate the feeling of being overwhelmed. And finally, it gives us more free time. By working smarter, not harder, we can free up time to do the things we love, whether that's spending time with family, pursuing a hobby, or just relaxing. Remember, time management is not about cramming as many tasks into your day as possible. It's about simplifying how you work, doing things faster, and relieving stress. So let's make every moment count because time, once gone, never comes back. But most importantly, you need to start valuing your time. Imagine, for a moment, that time is a currency. Every second, every minute, every hour is a coin in your pocket. How would you spend it? Would you throw it away carelessly? Or would you invest it wisely, making sure that each coin brings you closer to your goals, your dreams, your aspirations? Your time is precious. It is a limited resource, a finite commodity. And yet, we often squander it on activities that bring us no closer to our dreams, no closer to our potential. We spend it on distractions or on tasks that don't align with our values, our ambitions. We let others dictate how we spend our time rather than taking control of it ourselves. This, my friends, is where the concept of self-worth comes into play. When you understand your worth, when you recognize the value of your own time, you become selective about how you spend it. You begin to protect it, to cherish it, to use it wisely. Take some time to reflect on what you truly want to achieve. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What is it that you want to spend your time on? Once you have a clear vision of what you want, start aligning your time with those goals. Spend your time on activities that bring you closer to your dreams, that add value to your life, that make you feel fulfilled and happy. Remember, time is a resource that you can't replenish. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. So don't waste it. Don't let others waste it. Value it. Protect it. Spend it wisely. It all boils down to this. Your time is valuable because you are valuable. Your time is worth protecting because you are worth protecting. Your dreams, your goals, your ambitions, they're all worth the time. As Carl Sandburg said, time is the coin of your life. It is the only coin you have, and only you can determine how it will be spent. So how will you spend yours?